Y'all know what time it is. It's got a gray interior. I mean, gray. Tan. What color's the exterior? Hmm. Yes, this is another one. It's an 07. 185, 200 on the nose. What are we gonna do with it? The silver one that you saw the other day, if you follow the channel at all, is gone. The black one from Tennessee, possibly gone. But I do have a little surprise about that one. Uh, so stick around for that. We got this GX to check out. I'll show you a Duramax I just picked up. We'll have a little fun. All right, here's this one. I want to say it's silver. It's kind of got a little bit of a bluish hue. I don't know. It's silver. We're going to call it silver. Let's see what... Maybe I'll look up the paint code. I'm going to call it that one silver. The pictures yesterday looked almost... Almost blue. Yeah, it's silver. We're good. <laughs> Let's look under the hood of this thing. Yeah, a little dirty. This in her front shroud. Do we have a sticker showing her timing? Right there. And I got one of these to replace it with, so I'm not worried about that. Hmm. We got a Daco radiator hose, which that makes me think timing has been done. But I don't know. I don't see a sticker to tell me for sure. It's got the wrong colored fluid. It's not a huge deal. This is not toy fluid. It's radiator fluid. It's not a, not a massive problem. I'll look this one over a little bit better but it may be taking it home i don't know let's we'll see what y'all think about this one i think it looks all right interior's not bad got a couple of cracks but it's not bad like when i got in it i didn't think it was cracked just because it wasn't wasn't bad at all uh, a new piece of leather right here the rest of the leather looks good Everything works. Navigation, backup camera, all of that works. I don't know, it's almost like it's a bluish, but it's not. I know it's not. But anyway, I think we may take this one home. Oh, yeah. Told you I had a Deer Max. Yeah, chain popped off. Oops. I noticed it just a mile ago, so I still got three that are connected. That's all you required is three. Um, couple things to look at on deer maxes uh do you know what blow by is now this truck has 250,000 miles so you would expect it to possibly have blow by how do you check that take off your oil cap see any puff and smoke no see if it's a thing not bouncing off if you can feel pressure, if you see smoke, or puffy smoke, or if that cap won't sit there, you've got problems. But this truck has 257,000 miles on it, not a lick of blow by, no oil leaks, no nothing. So, just a little tip if you're looking for a diesel that works on any diesel truck. The higher crankcase pressures, like the 67. Uh, Fords, the newer ones, um, there's going to be little puffs of smoke more than likely. Um, that's normal for those. So just a little tip. Let's get these off of here. Check it out. Silver, black and black. I sold the other silver one. So we got another silver one. <laughs> We're going to rock them out. But anyway, let's, uh, let's go, let's go put this bumper on. Got a metal tech bumper to put on this black GX so I can get it back to the customer. So let's make that happen. <sighs> Welcome to spring in the south where everything's covered in pollen and it rains every day. Glory. Hey, what are we doing? I have finished this. Front lift is in. I finished fixing the brakes. So that is done. So what's left? Front bumper. You're right. It's time to show you 
Got to get the front bumper cover off. Let's go. I do apologize if you're hearing a ton of static or whatever. It is the rain hitting my tin roof. Uh, this is not a fully enclosed shop as of yet. But first things first, if you want your bumper cover off, you can leave the wheels and tires on. I'm just leaving it for having more room sake since I just finished the lift. First things first, this has to come off. So all of these little tabs, pop, 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 pop them all off. I've only got one more to go over here. Get out of there. Throw it somewhere you can find them again later. And boom, it's out of your way. Once that's done, your next move, you're still going to have a few tabs in here to where the cover is actually attached to the bumper itself. So one, two, and three. After that, I'm coming under here to take out your fog lights. I've got a video. If I can remember, I'll attach. Uh, but if not, just YouTube it, Google it, and it'll tell you how to uh, get that bumper, I mean, get your fog lights out, pop them out. Once uh, these are out, I'll be right back. All right, another day. Had some things come up, so couldn't finish yesterday, but fog lights are out. Next up, here's one bolt here, one right there, and then that one, and all these across the front. They're all 10 millimeter. You're going to pull all of those, and there were three clips right in here. Boom, boom, boom. Took them out. Once I get all of those removed, we should be able to pull this bumper off, so let's do that real quick. covers off all right I'm not one to not use the instructions especially when I haven't put this bumper on before so I want to make sure I do it right with them you've got this crash bar and then the horns that hold them on there's 14 millimeter nuts so there are one two three four here one, or two and two on both sides that have to come off then the horns have four each so you'll get to see me do this I'm probably fixing to speed this up on you just so that um, hopefully you can hear me well, but I'm going to speed this up and uh, that way you don't have to listen to the ratchet and everything. So one, two, three, four, and then there's four more on both sides. So here we go. Next, see this hose mounting bracket right here. Take this two millimeter out. Inside there, there's a six millimeter nut that is, it's uh, basically welded in. It's a captured nut. You have to drill this hole out to a half inch. So you're definitely gonna need your half inch drill. Uh, those were all 14s, by the way. All of those were 14 millimeter bolts. I recommend a uh, an impact wrench because it makes things a lot easier. And you come to the other side, 
same thing. You've got another 10 millimeter to remove. You're going to drill out not only the uh, the hole that it's mounted in, but you're going to drill out the mounting bracket hole a half inch as well. So take the 10 millimeter out. If you can, run the drill on both at one time. That's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to take your 10 millimeter. I'm sorry, that's the 11. I'm sorry. What size is this? 14? You kidding me? What size are you? Alright. I lied all around. It is a 10. 10 millimeter. I mean 12. I'll get it right in a minute. It's a 12. Okay, it's a 12. Alright, easy enough. Out that comes. Same thing on the other side. These will not be reused. Set them aside. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Take your half inch. You're coming in right where you were. I'm going to get a better drill bit. Uh, I thought I had my metal drill bit set at the shop. I'm going to go check. I don't have them sitting in front of me. And uh, if you can't tell how disorganized I've been lately, I don't know where they're at. So I'm either going to go buy another one um, or find mine. I don't know where they are. So I guess I'll end up with two sets. Side note, complete side note, the other black 2007 GX that we just picked up, the silver one, gone, sorry. Uh, you know, missed out there. The black one is still to the black ones. I got an 04 and I've got an 07. But uh, the Martin kids, hey, yeah, uh, you know, I came to y'all's house, picked up this GX. Uh, I'm going to let y'all name it. I got, I got to be a cool name, though. So whatever you want this project named, let me know. I'll text your dad and make sure that he lets you see this. And, of course, the tray, uh, of course, I would have it opposite of how it should have gone, right? <laughs> I'm not... Above telling you guys when I'm wrong or haven't done something before, as will be the case here. All right, so you're going to get these, you're going to reuse those 14 millimeters that you had. So start you one on one side and the other just so it doesn't fall off of there. And then you can put the others on. So, what you're going to do is Get them snug but not tight. Um, you don't want them tight because uh, you're going to have to adjust a little bit side to side. So get them snug and uh, then we'll go from there. Next thing that'll actually go on will be uh, the support plates. Uh, they sit on the side of the frame over here and they match up here and here. That's why you drilled out that hole. You drilled out that half inch hole so that you can reach in there and uh, put that other bolt in. Uh, but the uh, next thing to come off is this upper support bar. There are one, two, Two nuts, two bolts, two bolts, two more nuts. So four nuts, four bolts total. And uh, well, actually a fifth one. Take this off, get it out of the way, because your bumper's not gonna sit all the way back in there. All right, front bar's gone. I've already mocked it up to make sure that this was lined up the way I wanted it. So I've tightened all these down. Next is this side plate I was telling you about. Remember drilling out this hole with a half inch. This is one of the bolts that's going to hold it. Second bolt is going to go here. This bolt is going to screw into. There's an already threaded portion there. So you can put it there. And then the bolt here. Uh, the larger 8 grade bolt 
I can complain about with uh, this is which bolts are which from uh, Metal Tech there. The uh, I mean they did okay on the instructions but could have been a little more clear on which bolts are which better labeling maybe but otherwise I have no complaints so far but uh, anyway we'll get these these little side support plates on all they're doing is just helping to uh, keep this from moving backwards and uh, hopefully if you do have an accident they're going to set off the sensors that are going to push your push your airbags out to you so you definitely want that to happen uh, so we're going to get the side plates mounted and then we're going to mock up the uh, actual fit this one's not getting a winch so I won't have that to show you but we're going to mock up the actual fit of the bumper and that's when we have to mark one more hole that we'll cut um, See what it will do is those first two will line up here. Once you get them set, you're going to set them in place. Um, not not uh, snugging it up yet. You're going to get your alignment right, how you like it, make sure that your lines fit. Uh, they recommend at least a quarter inch gap um, between anything touching so that you're not, um, you're not going to jack the fenders because this is a, uh, the body is independent of the, of the suspension. So, or how's that work? Anyway, it will flex. This is connected to the frame. Uh, with the body moving, it will uh, give you some flex into the fenders if you're too close. So they recommend at least a quarter inch gap probably going to need just a touch more, but that's how you'll get it. Line it up, have these two already here to hold it in place, mark your third one somewhere in here, wherever that is, with your paint bin, and then you will drill out your last half inch hole on that side and this side, and, uh, and you'll install your bumper, and then you put your rock guard in, and uh, you will be done, and you'll have you a bright, brand new little bumper to look at, so hang tight, I'm going to put these side support plates and uh, then we'll do that. A little tip, when you're putting this, uh, this, this nut and washer and everything inside the frame rail to connect to uh, the bolt that's going to go through here. That bolt, I mean obviously if you drop it, you're inside the frame rail and you need a magnet and all that kind of stuff. Easy way to not drop it. Two piece of tape, back side of your wrench. That is a tip that they gave, so not my original thought, but it was, uh, I have used that before, so we little tip those so you don't drop that nut washer and everything else down there, so as soon as we get the set plates on, I'm up this bump up and get that done. Yeah, let's do a little test fit. Oh, let's see what she looks like. This is better done with, uh, with two people, but uh, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. This off wherever it supports the highest, so it'll be trimmed. So, just, uh, ta -da, pretend that ain't there. We'll uh, kick that out of the way. All right, so let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, All right, can you see it there? I don't know that you can. I'm going to try and prop you up in such a way as to allow you to see. Alright. So, we got one. 
too. Let me see where my hands are anyway. It's really hard to see in there. But what you're going to do, use this area and you can run your hand around behind it, put the bolt in, whatever you want to do. But where these front two are, get them the way you like them. Once you get them the way that you like them, you can don't tighten them, but snug them if you'd like to make your mark. You don't even have to put them in at this point. You see how it's hanging? This bumper's sitting where, where we would probably mount it right now. So what I'll do is that third bolt hole that I was telling you about. And I wish I had a better light. Where's a good light? Hmm. I would not have one sitting here. Anyway. So you got one and two. And there's this third hole. Okay. This third hole is already in the uh, the, uh, the bumper. The third hole is not in your winch mount yet. I think that's right. I'll take it off in a moment. But I'm going to mark. Once I line my bumper up, mark that third one, remove it all again, and drill out my last half inch hole using that same drill bit that you used earlier. And then we're going to put it back up here, put our three bolts in each side, and then we're going to snug everything up. So I hope that makes sense. I'm going to. Uh, there you go. Maybe you can see a little better there. You see that? So it's one and two. This is the third one. There's a hole here, but there's not one here. So mark it, drill it, and then mount it back. But just make sure when you mark it that your bumper is lined up exactly how you like it. If it's not, obviously your mounting is going to be out of whack. But that's where you would go. If you had a, uh, a winch, you would have already wanted to put it on here. Um, you can optionally get some lights to go here. You can optionally have a light bar here. So a lot of options with this bumper. But I'm going to set you over here. I'm going to put you in a little warp speed and uh, we're going to get this thing done. can only get a pencil in there, but I marked them. Take you a center punch. Take my center punch. Punch the hole.
not to bore you with having to watch everything else. I've shown you where those three bolts go. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Spray you some uh, black paint. Anywhere that you've drilled. Whoop, I know, shot the mess. Anywhere that you've drilled already, whether here or here, spray some paint after everything cools off. Um, because otherwise, you're going to have rust issues on something that you just finished and fixed. So, spray some paint on there. I'm going to slap this bumper on here, finish bleeding the brakes and everything, and then I'm going to show you the finished product 100% uh, as my final. I am really excited how this one turned out. I'm trying to get me and it in the background, but uh, hey, let's just look at it anyway. Who cares? I don't need to be in there. Really happy, really happy with how the bumper sits. Uh, got just enough gap that we shouldn't be gouging. Um, the lift looks good, the wheels look good. It's all black, I think the grill needs to be blacked out, but uh, that's up to the customer. So hopefully, Hopefully we'll be, uh, maybe he'll let us do that. I don't know, but uh, I think this thing looks sweet. So uh, that is our most recent project. Boom, let me flip you around. So ended up actually touching right there, but the gaps overall look pretty good. Um, yeah. More gap, but it is flexed right now. It's up on a hill, so that's the reason I said you need gaps uh, between the two. So as it flexes, it's gonna get the bumper a little side to side motion. So anyway, pretty happy with that. Hope our customer is happy with that. Let's send this thing off for a timing job and an alignment, and uh, I'll get it delivered. Y'all know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We'll catch you next time.